Now, this is weird. Uh, I was just about to say, you probably can't guess which car I'm in right now. Uh, but if you follow this ch channel remotely last year, you'll know that I owned a bright orange McLaren 675LT. And um, I am back in my own car, my very own 675LT, uh, which I sadly departed with last year. It smells identical, the nostalgia trip right now, just thinking of everything that I did in this car. I remember collecting it. I remember the road trips that I did with Sam and Paul last year down the beautiful Italian coastline. I remember the track days I did it. I remember the drag race that I did with the 918 Spider. This is it, this is moment of truth. This is LT versus 918 Spider. Uh, I think we know who's gonna kill this, but the purpose of this is to see just by how much. How much is that 918 gonna rip this thing a new a-hole? So let's see, let's line up, do the best launch control I can. Tires are sticky now, doesn't have Hybrid assist, doesn't have best part of a thousand horsepower, um, but does have a carbon tub, tw twin clutch gearbox and sticky tires, and it is lighter. Even still, I think we know where this is heading, but, oh God. <laughs> I think the 918 was faster than me than I was of the Aventador SV, if that makes sense. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is, I mean, yeah. That's, and that's why that's a hypercar. Just a attack of nostalgic epicness is happening right now. The reason I'm here, I have keys to multiple McLarens right now. I literally could have a McLaren party. Uh, I am at a very very fancy new showroom which is what i would class as my local mclaren dealer now it's not actually that local to me at all but this is my favorite but this is mclaren manchester i'm here they have my old car why this thing hasn't sold yet i have no idea being back in it i'm reminded of how absolutely epic it is and in mclaren orange as well it just looks so good um so we're here they've got a brand new showroom it's not every day that your local dealer ups their game to this degree. The new showroom is so cool. We're going to give you a tour of that shortly. They've got some very special kit in there. Um, but I couldn't pass up this opportunity to come and see my, my old baby. Just the feel of the steering wheel. Do you know what's rare? To have a steering wheel these days in such a modern car with absolutely no buttons on it at all. Nothing. This just says driver focused. I remember the touch and feel of it. So cool. Anyway, we're here for this new showroom. I haven't quite indulged myself enough in it yet. And I thought, you know what? Rather than me walking around it on my own, why don't I take you guys along for the ride as well? So let's hit it. So here we are, inside the new McLaren Manchester showroom. Uh, every time I step inside anything McLaren, I know this is weird and I hope McLaren don't mind me saying this, but it always reminds me of like the Apple store hybrided with cars, which in my line of work is absolute dream case scenario. Everything is so beautiful and clean and precise, yet I know that the products that they make are just jam packed full of epicness. Now, as it happens, the 720, which they did have in the last time I drove past has recently been sold. I guess that's a good thing, but there's not one that I can show you in here. I'm not sure if you guys followed my Goodwood Festival of Speed journey. I actually drove a Paris Blue uh, 720S up the hill. This is also a Paris Blue 570S. I think as well with these splashes of iridescent orange to break it up, it looks super cool. As, as amazing as the 720 is, I think the p pound for pound in terms of what McLaren make, this having a carbon tub being so lightweight, being to have the, have the roof down and the way these things sound i also think it's mclaren's best sounding car haven't driven the senna yet that's coming in a few months time but 
I love this car, it's so good. So in contrast, almost a similar car. Not a spy, but it is an S, but it's in amethyst black, which is, in other languages, uh, deep purple. It's a totally different feel. Anyway, this is their new car area. They also have a new car area upstairs. I'm gonna hazard a guess, this might be the largest McLaren showroom. I'll have to find out, but let's head upstairs and see what's what. and see this. So one of the things that I love about McLaren is that they're playing on their heritage of racing history. Come check this out. This is an Ayrton Senna Prost Formula One car. So we're actually in there. I think this is the pre-owned stock. It's huge, like from the outside, you don't realize how far back this all goes. Uh, we're on the second floor, obviously. That big door at the back uh, connects to a car elevator, which brings all of the cars up here. Star of the show, McLaren are one of the few brands which have held on to the majority of their F1 cars. And so they're one of the few brands that are able to put them in their showroom, give you a nod to the heritage and where they've come from. As I mentioned, this is an actual Prost Senna F1 car. 1989. Look at the arrow on it. It's so basic compared to modern day F1 cars. There's actually a model next door of a more modern F1 car. The, the aero difference is crazy. You guys don't know how cool this is for petrol heads in the area. Uh, they sort of geared it up as well. It's quite a, like a lifestyle destination. They've got this really cool bar downstairs. They're building this outdoor patio area with a, a fire so they can hold events at night. And let's face it, car guys just want an excuse to get their cars out and to use this place to come and say hello, chat with people. Everyone here is like super friendly. When I first started getting interested in McLaren, they had this tiny showroom which was able to hold about four or five cars, like no joke. So to be able to immerse yourself in the brand this month with F1 cars and their full model lineup is pretty Such a cool example of how showrooms are evolving. I remember when I was going to showrooms when I was younger, just as a kid to look around. It was such just like room cars. There was no like lifestyle as it were. This, they have a whole bar here. Despite this looking a bit like a Stormtrooper's car, uh, this is the Dawn Harmony. This is a specification that this dealership has created for themselves. This line here, which could be mistaken for a hand painted pinstripe, is actually a stainless steel inlay. The time and detail and skill and attention to making something so seamless, so integrated into that fascia is incredible. It's a shame really that without knowing you wouldn't know the full story behind that. A single piece of stainless steel inlaid, the hours that must take is crazy. So this is one of those rooms where you could lose your entire day or week. Um, I think the, one of the most outstanding things about Rolls-Royce is literally the infinite options which are available for your car. But these are just you know, some examples of the kinds of things that they do. Check, check this out. Inlays and engravings and paints. I mean, look at this. All of this is handmade inlays. Mother of pearl inlays, gold pinstriping, and the paint selections. I mean, this is just a tiny selection of the kinds of paints that they do, but you can just go crazy. And comments below, if you were gonna have, I mean, I don't know where you would start, but if you were gonna spec your ideal Rolls Royce, let's keep it simple. Interior color, exterior color. <laughs> no idea how deep this is. I can lose my entire finger in there. So this is carpet. They put some sort of nice uh, padding where your heels go so your entire foot doesn't get lost into Garfield. But to have something like that underfoot, it's incredible. One of the great things about this world of cars rather than supercars, supercars are always trying to save weight. Uh, not that these guys are trying to add weight, but saving weight isn't a priority, so you can get away with things like that. <laughs> And that was that. Super, super quick 
run around that showroom. I arrived here a little bit late, so everybody has to go home. Uh, but it's fantastic to have this place as my local McLaren dealer. They've really stepped up the game. Uh, and of course, soon there's going to be Senna's arriving here. So very exciting times. So one last goodbye to my beautiful 675LT. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. Ciao. Understand to see the work I put in it. I'm guessing all this bullshit just come with the benefits. 20 years old, 20 carats, my bezel heavy. Door suicide, I say a word in remembrance. And they just wanna see me fail, but don't.